Now, through the years moving back to Cameroon, she has been a pillar in the entertainment industry. She has done radio hosting, TV hosting, event hosting, and every time she improves herself. But most of all, she's a representative of a music label, and her goal is to get us to a point where we provide great quality content for media consumption and for us to be able to be internationally acceptable. Now, Eva stands for everything possible. You need to know her. Eva Dumbe. Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Eva Sobilan Dumbe and I am a radio slash TV host. I'm a content creator and I am the representative for Sony Music Entertainment in Cameroon. That's it. So far, Cameroon is tough. It's very tough, but nothing I cannot handle. Fun. I have fun with every single thing I do, be it work with Sony, be it work with the radio or TV, whatever it is, I have major fun with what I do, all the time. Very important. Number one, I'm a woman. Number two, I am young, all right? And I'm in a man's world, so it's, it's tough. Sometimes people um, they underestimate you. They think, oh, you're young, you're a woman. Hmm, maybe she doesn't know what she's doing. But the way I've turned that around is I have worked my ASS off, and I have proven myself to be more than qualified for what I do and more than competent in what I do. So. That's what I've done. Okay, my advice to artists and, you know, uh, capitalizing on their, on their value, for me it's image. If we work on our image, then the brands will come to us. If we work on our image, we'll be e it'll be easier for us to sell ourselves to brands. At the same time, brands understand that it's a growing industry and people are still learning the ropes. Now, if you see your image, or if you see the values you're looking for in a certain artist, then you should go for that artist as well. That's what I would say. Pretty much is one of the toughest things that we have to do as Cameroonian artists, because there was a time in our lives when reaching international platforms was not a problem. Like, I mean, Michael Jackson sampled Manu Dibango. Like, how international do you want to get, right? Um, but now with the internet age and all the social media, many things have changed. Uh, reaching the interna international platforms now is just the work, is trying to reach out there. Hopefully artists have great teams that are able to reach out to these media houses, reach out to people who um, you know, are known internationally and try to work with them. Like, you know, Stanley has done, when it comes to artists, Stanley is one of the people who has worked a lot more and who is more known on international platforms just because he reaches out, he works, and, you know, also, again, his image. The Cameroon entertainment scene is young, it's fresh, it's still getting there. Most of the time, people compare the Cameroonian international scene with, um, I'm sorry, entertainment scene with Nigeria, with Ghana, with Ivory Coast, with Congo, but they forget that those people started somewhere. And when they started, they were like us. They didn't know anything. They were still learning. They were still trying to get, you know, used to the ropes and all that stuff. So they should understand that it's a process. It's growth. We're not, we're growing. We're not there yet, we're not experts, but we're growing. So the moment people understand that we're growing, it's going to open up many minds and people will understand that they have to learn to grow, okay? So learning will not be a problem. And if everybody learns, everybody grows, everybody makes money. That's it. My vision is for us to have better TV shows, better radio shows, great content, um, a certain mind for, for, for perfection. And hopefully, you know, as I work through what I'm working through, be it through my radio show Dope Music, or be it with Sony Music, or be it even with B-Boy Records, because I, I work for B-Boy Records as well, we're able to, you know, set an example, and even the Miss P show that I'm on right now, you know, we're able to set an example to the other people that content creation needs to be 
different, it needs to be elevated, it needs to be fresh, it needs to be new. Because then we'll stop saying that Nigerian people have better shows than we do. All right, so my vision is maybe in the next five years, we're going to have amazing studios and great, great content that can actually be shown internationally as well. Hey guys, how are you doing? I want to give a huge shout out to Miss P um, on the Miss P show. I'm here right now and I've had so much fun. Hopefully I get to come back like I've always done. I've been here like, what, how many times? I don't know, but guess what? Miss P is a great show, great content, and I'm super excited to be part of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful idea. Bye.